guys, this is Katja with Creative Switch Studio. It is spring, you guys, and I am here for it. I love all of these colors when nature wakes up. And so you can see it already in my background, but I found this great spring paper collection. It is called Better Times by Minte Papers. I love it, but I did not buy the entire collection. It was one of my make up your mind moments. Uh, check out one of my previous videos uh, if you want to know what I mean by that. It's the way I choose my papers and whether to buy an entire collection or just a few sheets. So uh, with this collection, I chose uh, three sheets plus an ATC card sheet. And uh, well, these are, well, let me step aside a bit. These are really, really beautiful spring images, paintings almost, and it is difficult to cut into them, but I found a way and you will see that in the project that I'm gonna show you today which is a nice, luxurious Easter card. And uh, yeah, like I said, beautiful, beautiful images and, uh, and an ATC card sheet. Yeah, so I mentioned it already, a luxurious Easter card is what I'm gonna show you today. So my intention was to use up as many of the sheets that I bought as I could in only one card project. So that is a lot of paper real estate and uh, well, there will be a little bonus card at the end of the video because I did have somewhat of the paper left over, but it turned out into a large card, a luxurious card. And uh, yeah, let me show you. All right, and this is the main work, the main card. This is a very luxurious and large card. It is uh, 20 centimeters by 15 approximately, and I will put the inches below and look at this gorgeous paper, guys. What I did here is making use of the pattern of the paper. So this door, this image of the, of the garden door that, you know, it went on here and I used it to cut exactly between those doors so they would be actual doors to open when you open this card. I of course decorated the front of the card somewhat, not too much because the pattern is so lovely in and of itself. So I added some enamel dots here and there, some blings, this is a well, Prima Marketing special bling here and here on the butterfly I added a little bling, some enamel dots here and of course a little floral thingy here and the showstopper of course the large 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 bow tie closure now before i open it up let's do the back first here you can see one of my scrap mats by which i mean if you uh, are new to my channel you can use all of your scraps to create a new mat so to mat your cardstock and this is a way to enlarge your paper real estate if you're running out of paper or if you just want to play around with the patterns of the paper play around so uh, here you can see a strip of the atc cut apart sheet but i didn't cut them apart here so this is one piece and then i created a larger mat with two other pieces so that is a lovely way to do that and look how lovely this looks all right so let's open up this card because that is why you are here after all so opening it up and i love this uh, this large ribbon this broader ribbon so it does take a moment to put it through this uh, this hole but uh, it's very luxurious so opening it up showcasing the paper so again i didn't do very much to the paper because oh that image guys those images those patterns i love it minte is really good at these things uh, sometimes i'm overwhelmed because i don't know how to cut it because you know the sheet is actually sort of a painting almost so how to cut that up but i found a way so this is how i cut it up I did add some glitter glue here and there. So I did some gold yellowish uh, here in the centers of these flowers. And I also used some, some diamond uh, stickles here. And uh, that is it for this flap. And on this flap, same thing. Well, here I did a little bling on the butterfly and I stamped Happy Easter 
on this side, I did what I did do here. Oh, some glitter, uh, glitter glue again. So here with the yellowish gold and here with the uh, diamond hearts in the smaller flowers. And then here I used one of the ATC cut aparts and uh, stickled around it and then added two, well, actually one uh, chipboard sentiment by Tim Holtz and I cut that in half so you get two. And then I inked it up because it was white and now it is not, as you can see. So that is uh, done with ink. And then let's open these up. Now, these are completely useless, guys. They uh, serve no purpose other than being lovely. So that is why I'm calling this card Luxurious because it's pure luxury and no, uh, nothing actually useful, but uh, except being beautiful. So here again with these two flaps, I used my uh, sew ribbon punch and weaved an actual ribbon through the paper here and here. So that is a lovely effect. And that is all that I did to that because again, enjoying the paper. Now here, this pocket did some stickling here, did a little bow here, but I also did a hidden door. I stamped a little arrow here to give a hint. And this is actually fussy cut by me to be a sort of a closure because this door actually opens. And if you um, remember, this is in fact the lower half of the door that starts here. So I used the piece here and used it on the, uh, the pocket here. So opening this up, you can just, you know, open the flap up. And there you have a hidden treasure and it says God is alive because, you know, it's Easter. And let's not forget that is not actually about eggs, birds and Easter bunnies, but it is about our Lord's resurrection. So God is alive. I found a particularly fitting stamp for Easter. I did add some eggs because, you know, spring and uh, I love it. So just tuck it beneath this bird here. So what I did here is very simple. You fussy cut something or you take a piece of paper. You just uh, glue it down and make sure that it's sticking slightly over the edge. So the edge is here and this bird is just a tiny bit peeking over the edge because then I have something to tuck this doorlet underneath. And that is all guys. There is no further secrets to that. No magnets, no uh, Velcro, no, well, can't think of anything else. No, no swing tab. Uh, this is it. Very simple. Now this pocket, of course, is not empty. So let's take out this booklet first. This is actually uh, from the ATC sheet again. So just cut two and fold them in half and you have a lovely booklet, which is, of course, double sided. I stamped a message here, a loving message, just to say, may joy be yours on Easter day. And then I um, went around the edge here of the frame with some stickles again, some lovely lime green. And this will be the place where I will write my personal message to my friend Sophie, who is going to receive this card. Hi, Sophie. Now I will put something else into this pocket because Sophie loves tea just like me. So I took some of my uh, tea and I put it in a tea bag. And uh, well, you know, it's just a little surprise gift for her so she can enjoy her afternoon tea or her morning tea, whatever she likes. Let's make it a bit flat and put it into the pocket. I guess this will have to do. Now you may think this card won't close exactly anymore, but you know, it never really did because I was bulky from the start because I knew I would fill it up and I didn't care at all. That is why this is not uh, actually fitting here and this uh, isn't either because I wanted to have room to be bulky. So this uh, time it was actually intentional to give myself some space and to give myself some room to be actually bulky. You could of course uh, do the same or uh, use some bulky flowers here, bulky, 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 anything, anything you like. Um, I wouldn't personally do it here because then I do think you would have some trouble closing uh, like this here. But here, I just meant it to be like that. 
And uh, yeah, so I did do some gussets here. Uh, these are 1 8 inch gussets. And then uh, you can close the card. There you go. Now, I did have some paper left, not much, but I did have an entire, well, almost half of a, of a 12 by 12 inch sheet left of the four that I showed you. So I thought, let's do something with that. So this is actually the main piece, but I did manage to do another card. And that is this one. Now, this time I did not use any cardstock at all. And um, this way I can make use of the paper being double sided. So just let's enjoy the paper first. So again, with a door here, well, at least piece of it, part of it, little uh, bird here, a garden theme. I love this paper. And here I uh, cut cut a piece of, uh, of the ATC card uh, sheet and made it into a square and tucked it behind this part of the image. So I did a little cutting here into the pattern and tucked my uh, card behind it, added some of the enamel dots and blings, some flowers here as well. And uh, yeah, that is the front. So very, very lovely spring theme, I think. And then opening it up here, you can see how I use that double sidedness so you can enjoy the double sidedness here. So the pattern of the paper. And then I um, added another piece of design paper by way of a journaling spot. So here I will write my personal message. I did do some die cutting, gezegende Pasen, it means blessed Easter. And uh, yeah, again, with a lovely uh, spring theme here. And here I just played around. So this is one of the ATC cut aparts. I used a swing tab this time. So swinging it open. And then here is, again, that same stamp with the Easter message and some stickling around the frame, added a flower. And this is just, you know, to enjoy the spring imagery. So that is just for fun, some nice spring decorations. So yeah, so this is the second card. So with those three uh, sheets plus the ATC cut apart sheet, you can do this luxuriously large card plus uh, a bonus card, let's say. And the only papers that I have left now are these. So just some scraps here, let's put them over here. And this piece of, ATC, of the ATC sheet, which I can probably use in some other projects. So most of the papers are actually used up with those two lovely, lovely cards. So I hope you feel inspired by it. Just you, you just need three sheets plus an ATC cut apart sheet or four normal sheets, and uh, you can create this luxurious card. I think I will make uh, more because I really loved this design. So yeah, that was the card, guys. I hope you find that inspirational and uh, I hope you like the idea. Let me know if you even send out Easter cards or spring cards, maybe. And uh, if so, which ones do you like to make the most? Is it the easy ones or the luxurious ones or the wallet card ones? You know, lots of variations possible there. Let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video tutorial on this luxurious Easter card that I just did. It's not very difficult. Uh, the more experienced crafters uh, among you will have already seen what I did there. It is not difficult to, uh, to replicate. But for maybe the beginners or uh, people who just uh, want to have some instructions, let me know and I can uh, see what I can do. And uh, well, you already know you will need three sheets of double-sided paper plus an ATC card if you really want to replicate what I did. All right, guys, press the like if you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel if you do that and press the bell for notifications. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.